A real talk about trading episode uh, 36, uh, or right around there, guys. Listen, uh, this is uh, my reaction to the uh, earnings report of Netflix. So, as you know, we went uh, highly bearish into the report. And, guys, uh, now we got uh, a situation where some people ask me, Leo, give me one reason to short Netflix. They got 13 million subscribers. And that is exactly my point, okay? This is exactly why... Netflix is going to drop like a fucking rock. So far, after hours, you're looking at it, it's going nowhere but higher. But guys, 13 million subscribers. That's a lot of fucking subscribers. The question is, why are earnings going down? So if Netflix earnings are going down on a record number of subscribers, isn't that a red flag? Isn't that a, a reason why... Netflix is not going to overperform, but instead is going to underperform over the course of the next few years. One of the reasons we highlighted for shorting Netflix stock was the word cost. So now that Netflix, Netflix has been a big spender for many years uh, acquiring content, but now it's venturing to the uh, live events, uh, and the cost of that are even going to be higher. And the question is, as an investor, like, okay, so when is that shit is going to pay off? And so I think Wall Street is going to wake up tomorrow, January the 24th, and maybe some good walls are just going to pump it just slightly higher. Maybe it can go to 540, 550, but that would be, uh, that would be a perfect entry. That would be a destined move to formation for Netflix on January 24, 24? Wow. We got 13 market moves talking about 13 million reasons that Netflix just gave us to short its stock tomorrow on January 24, 24. Uh, is anybody following me? Guys, higher costs, okay, on Netflix are happening at the same time where most of the companies are trying to cut their costs. Okay, one of the reasons uh, Wall Street applauded uh, Meta uh, last year. Oh, well, Facebook is cutting their workforce. That's a good thing. Uh, they got people sitting on their ass doing nothing. Then they got to cut off all of those. Well, hey, that's a good thing. They're going to cut their costs. Uh, maybe earnings are going to look a little better. And so uh, Facebook nailed that. But uh, now you've got... Uh, uh, Microsoft cutting. You've got other companies cutting. You got Google cutting. You got Macy's cutting, cutting, cut. Everyone is trying to cut their costs in the form of cutting their labor force. Okay. And yet Netflix is coming out and saying, hey, we're going to add to costs. We're going to add to costs. Yeah. We make less money at the highest subscriber growth ever uh high subscriber number ever 13 million subscribers and we're happy to announce that now we make less money now let me ask you a fucking question I, it doesn't have to be this complicated you're a business owner right uh if somebody came up to you and said hey you're gonna have to work a lot harder over the next few a few few years to make a lot less are you in bro are you in You'd be like, hell no, what you talking about? I want to work less and make more. Uh, no, 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 no. Netflix just said, we're going to work harder. We're going to spend more. And uh, we're going to earn less. That's a reason to buy the stock? I think Wall Street is going to wake the fuck up tomorrow. And they're going to have a change of heart on this one. Now, for those of you uh, that maybe are, are not guys. I mean, let me just, okay, let's say. Let's say you're a female and uh, your husband comes up to you and says, uh, baby, I know you cook dinner for me every night, but guess what? That shit ain't good enough. Now you're going to have to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And maybe, maybe at some point I'm going to take you shopping. Or maybe, I mean, I might just give you a massage, you know, if you do that shit three times a day for me. Okay, what are you going to say to that? Hold on, motherfucker. You want me to cook now three times a day for you? 
You want me to put up with your ass every day, and now you also want me to cook three times a day for you? For the same bullshit I've been putting up with all my life? I don't think so. <laughs> so, basically, that's what Netflix is going through, and, like, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter what the fuck they say on a conference call, okay? With a record subscriber number, they're making less money. So if that trajectory is to be uh, forwarded into the future, right? Because Wall Street wants to see, okay, well, how things are going to look into the future. Well, future looks very unclear for Netflix because basically what they're saying now is they're maxed the fuck out on, okay, they, they've cracked down on passwords. Okay, how, how much... Uh, what what are the strategy are they going to use to uh, just bring in people to watch the shows? Okay, there's so many other alternatives now. Okay, that you can watch. So okay, basically they're saying they're maxed out on that. There's no big numbers as far as you know just doing that. So they're venturing out into live events. They're venturing out to gaming. They're doing all these other things. Now they're running ads just like everyone else. Okay, so what makes Netflix difference at the, different at, at this moment in time? And these future investments, okay, how long are they going uh, to take to pay off? So what I'm saying is future is very unclear because Netflix is notorious for running big costs for paying crazy, stupid numbers for uh, their content. So knowing the history of Netflix, there's nothing that's going to stop Netflix for paying crazy, stupid money for uh, live events and other things that they're venturing out into. But the profitability is very questionable. And considering that uh, profitability uh, potentially going into a situation where the market could drop the fuck out at any moment, um, potentially that we got a situation of inflation where costs of borrowing are going to remain high, where, you know, there's just a lot of uncertainty. And Netflix in this quarter just brought a lot more uncertainty into the picture. Now, uncertainty generally is not associated with stock going higher uh, by Wall Street standards. So if uh, we were to pick our top three trades for tomorrow, it would definitely include a Netflix short. So by no means just because it pumps $30, $40 after hours, uh, I think now that we have actually seen the numbers that we're trying to simply put the two and two together. Man, you cannot make uh, more money on the record number of subscribers. Well, shit, I guess subscribers don't matter that much if your costs are just going through the roof and chances are they could get out of control as you're trying to uh, create uh, newer ventures and invest money in that, like, who wants to invest in that bullshit? That is highly, highly uncertain. So, uh, I would still bet that Netflix shares will be way the fuck lower. I would even say this, guys. Understanding what just transpired during Netflix earning calls, I would say this. I may have to re-record my top 10 shorts for the year of 2024 because Netflix have given us reasons why it could be the stock that could fall the fuck out by 30, 40, 50 percent lower in 2024 and uh, this could be the moment to short it. This could be the highest we will see Netflix stock over the course of the next two, three years. So, guys, it's time to short Netflix. After the earnings report, uh, it is definitely time to short it. So if you own Netflix puts for this week, don't sell them. If you own Netflix puts for next week, don't fucking sell them. But if you want to capture a 10, 20x trade, I think we got a perfect recipe for it at this moment. So they can talk Netflix stock all they want. The question is, what's going to happen tomorrow when Netflix is going to open for trading. 
And if you're lucky to catch it and short it at 540, um, 550, consider it your lucky fucking day. Okay? And chances are it can pop and by the time the market opens tomorrow and stocks are going to be trading at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., uh, it could come down already. But if it bounces anything off of that 5, I'm looking right now, it's at 531. So if it bounces any higher than 531, it's a definite overshoot. Um, and Netflix is a definite short. 2024. Can Netflix actually outperform Boeing on the short side? We've nailed Boeing uh, on uh, January 1st when we were recording some videos about the top 10 short stocks for the year. Uh, as you know, Boeing is down 60 points since we recorded that video. I think Netflix could outperform Boeing on the short side over the course of 2024, guys. So uh, don't let these bounces again. 